Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nev's Garage. Now, if this is your first time joining us here on our channel, please hit that subscribe button and toggle on the little bell. That way you'll get notifications when our next cool video comes out. Don't fast forward or change the channel just now though, because we've got a really cool episode right here. We're gonna be talking about these clear markers and indicators that we added to our GF8 a while ago, right? And you would have seen those videos if you are a viewer of the channel or if you've done some channel surfing, right? They look really cool. One side effect is, however, though, because we've got to use these really stealth LED bulbs and because the lenses are clear, they don't have much, you know, reflection in them. And uh, they tend to be, well, not as bright as they could be uh, viewed from, you know, other vehicles, especially when they're in the sun. Um, and, uh, you know, safety is a factor in uh, any modification we do to our cars. And we want other drivers to be able to you know, know when we're turning so they don't, well, potentially T-bone us, all right? So let's see what we can do about it. Um, let's get into it. All right, so we're just gonna take the side indicators out. Now, they're really easy to get out. Uh, to make it even easier, I'm just gonna get a bit of car wash, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put some around the front and around the back, like this. And that's just gonna help it slide, because that's how we actually remove them, all right? And that's gonna prevent any damage to the paintwork and just make our job easier. So what we do is we just slip them forward on their little spring retainer that's on the back, like so, and then we just pull them out. So we've just got a nylon scraper. Just gonna push the light forward and then just lever it out like so. And it just pops out, okay? So there it is. And what we're gonna do is we're going to unplug it like that, and that's our complete lamp removed. So let's grab the one from the other side and bring them up onto the bench and uh, see what we're gonna do about it. All right guys, so here's our two lamps removed from the car. And I'll just get a nice soft rag so we're not gonna scratch them all up. All right, so let's see what bulbs we've got in here at the moment. Now, like I said, if you've seen the other episodes, you would have seen these. We've got these little LEDs, okay? Now, uh, you know, they look really cool. They've got chrome on them, so they do blend in with the uh, clear chrome lamps, um, but they do only have two LEDs in there, okay? And they only forward face, see? All right, so there's not really much happening as far as reflecting into the inside of the lamp goes. Uh, which is why, you know, they don't really output that much light. It's actually really hard to get decent amber LEDs in a T10. There's just not much available uh, in a good quality one anyway. All right, so let's just pop them out. So I've got these. These are JW Speaker T16 amber LEDs. Now if we have a look at these in comparison, many more individual LEDs in these bulbs, right? So they're going to throw much more light and also they're going to throw light sideways to reflect off the inside of our lamp, hopefully. Um, but there is one problem. when we compare them to what we had in there. See how much longer they are. So we run into this problem, even with them hitting the front of the lens, they won't go home, okay? So we can't fit them in there, all right? So what we're going to do, we're gonna make up a little bulb socket extender adapter. I'm gonna draw it up in CAD and I'm gonna 3D print it out of ABS. 
so we can put these nice bright T16 wedges into these lamps that are supposed to just have a T10. All right, so let's do that now. Okay guys, so here is the plans I've drawn up for the adapter. It's gonna be pretty basic. So we're gonna throw it into SolidWorks now. Okay guys, well here it is, it's all drawn up in SOLIDWORKS. Alright, looks pretty cool. So how about we uh, put it into Perusa now, our 3D printing slicer. And get it ready to print. Let's put this side down so we don't have to use supports. Yep, that looks good. Oh, and guys, you can find the file for our little doohickey uploaded on Thingiverse. So jump on over there, download yourself a copy for free, and print your own. All right, guys, so let's just pop it off the plate. There it is. So let's get it cleaned up and get it fitted. All right, guys, so here is our extenders that we printed. And as you can see, they're stepped and they have the notches and everything in them. Okay, so what's going to happen is that they go on the back of our lamps like this. Just push over there. And then our bulb retainers will go in the back like this. Okay, and they'll be able to fit our longer bulbs in. Alright, so what we need to do now is just glue these onto the lamps. So we've got our lamps here and I've just removed the chrome coating off them back to bare plastic, roughened them up a bit. And we're going to use a gel based glue. All right, and we're gonna just use it on the shoulder on the inside of the adapters here. Going to use gel so it doesn't run away and run down inside the lamps like that and then we're going to put it around the flange as well like that going to do one at a time and push it on and here we go That. I'm going to put the little lockout notches in the same position because why not? 
and just make sure we push it home okay so what's going to happen there is this flange here has been designed to sit around this part of the lamp as it pushes all the way home like that see the gap around the base of the of the unit so the glue is going to adhere to this and around the edge all right so they're going to be nice and secure and weatherproof so we've got that one on now cool cool You can actually see the gel in there that's squished out between that top lip on the lamp and the flange inside our adapter. You can also see it on this one. All right, cool. We're just going to leave them there a couple of hours, let that set. All right, guys, so here we go. The glue's dried. And our adapters are attached to our lamps now. So now we can install the, the bulbs. So we're just going to put a bit of dielectric grease on the connectors. Before we push them into the holders. Like that. A bit of moisture protection and conductivity promotion. Make sure we didn't get any on the actual bulb. And then stick it down the hole. Look at that. So they're a little less stealth than the original ones we had in there. But, you know, not too bad. Okay, so there they are. Let's put the gaskets back on and stick them back on the car. Cool. Let's stick them back on the car. All right, so reinstallation is basically just the opposite of removal. Plug the connector on, click. Feed the unit in. And we just slide it forward on the little spring clip. Push the unit in and it just slides back against the retainer. There it is. Let's just have a quick squeeze at how it's going to look. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a big improvement. All right. Let's put the other side back in and then we'll take it out in the sun and see how she looks. All right guys, so let's see how it looks in the sun compared to our old ones. Oh yeah, that is definitely better.
And now let's see him from the back angle. Yep, definitely an improvement there. Now let's check it out from a frontal side angle as well. Yep, so I'm happy with that. I reckon that's a, a massive improvement over our last version of uh, LED globes in there. Cool. All right, guys. Well, how cool is that? We're all done. Simple little mod. And uh, I think the results are awesome. It's safer, it's more visible to other drivers, and I reckon they also look cooler as well than the other ones. So that's two thumbs up for the price of one thumbs up. That's just rad. Anyway, thank you for joining us till the end of our video. That's great of you. I hope you subscribed. I hope you toggle on the bell. And also, I hope you share this video with anyone else you think might be interested in it. Anyway, that pretty much wraps us up. I'm Nev. This is my garage. And I'll see you next time around.